right, I've got the uh, Option Archery Canyon Pounder in. That's the site I've been talking about for quite a while and something I was super excited about getting. Um, this is also has the 8 arrow equivalizer and the cash bar. We have another video up on the Kafaro YouTube page about that. But let me go into the, the Canyon Pounder, what makes it different, why I'm excited about it. Uh, this will be a little bit of a long video because I'm also going to go into using a, a mover or a trick pin. Um, so with the Canyon Pounder, the, the cool thing that I like about it most is on most sites that have multiple pins and a mover, your bottom pin is going to be the mover quite often. And with this in the option sites, you can fold the fixed pins out. Now with the old option sites, like I used an option six, I had that folded in, I had multi pins. When I folded that open, my mover pin would move inside the housing up and down. That limited range to a certain degree, I get 85 yards or so out of it. But it's also not nearly as accurate because your mover pin, um, whether that be on the option uh, six, the older options, or standard sites, that pin isn't centered in the housing, which is, in, is not as accurate as it could be. So now with this pin being my mover, it's perfectly centered in the housing all the time. So go into a little bit more detail with that. I've got my 20, 30, my mover is my 40, and my 50 and 60. So I've got 60 yard fixed pins. This pin right here does not move inside the housing anymore. The whole adjustment moves, the, or the whole, it, 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 the whole housing moves up and down, keeping that 40 yard pin centered. So when you talk about, or when I'm talking about peep creep or peep fade or whatever, or just not being as accurate, when your mover pin for long distance is way down here towards your site level, that is just difficult to be as accurate as it would be in that housing and your peep cir circled perfectly. So going into the site a little bit before I touch on that stuff more, the adjustment on this, you obviously have this dial and this indicator. This indicator moves, it's got micro adjust as far as for uh, your elevation. And then you also can move with loosening this Allen the whole housing up and down for a little bit more bang for the buck and adjustment. And then obviously um, you've got these two Allens back here and you've got some play for moving that up and down. Um, you've got two sight tapes here and I'll go into that a little bit more in a minute as far as using my body, bottom pin for even longer range. Uh, you've got micro adjust windage here. You loosen that Allen there, which is kind of hard to see. And this, this dial here gives you micro adjust left and right. As far as brightness on the fibers, your fixed pins here all are wrapped in this housing. So you got plenty of light from those. And then your mover pin, your 40 or my 40 in the case I set it up, that has fiber wrapped there. So plenty of light. Elevation, you also have the adjustment here to move this whole thing up and down. So you've got plenty of, of, de uh, plenty of adjustment for elevation between these and these here. So lots of adjustment uh, both ways. So to go into how I adjusted this or how I set this up, um, and I don't know if this is the way Dan suggested or not, but this is the way that I did it. Um, since you have this reference scale, right? Um, you can have this dialed all the way up as high as you can go. And then you can start dialing in your mover pin from that. So the end outcome that I want is I want my fixed pins, that to be 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. So by default, using this reference scale, just to kind of show you what I'm talking about, if this was my actual sight tape, 40 would be 40 here. And so if I had this set up and how I set mine up, I would have this set on 40 all the time for my mover pin. And then when I close this, now I have 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. When I open this up, now I can dial up to single one yard increments with my mover pin. And I probably, you know, 10 yards is as low as I'm gonna go on that. I don't, I don't need anything less than 10 personally. And then I can go all the way down to, in this case, this reference scale 140. For me personally, I got about 110 out of this. No, I got 108 out of this. 
So once I had that set up, this mover pin I have from 10 yards to 108 yards. When I have this dialed up to 40, I close my pin guard, I have 20 through 60. Now I can use this bottom pin if I wanted to use my entire housing for a mover. What I can do now is my bottom pin uh, rover is for this sight tape over here. Not as accurate, but I have a bottom pin that gives me 20, well, roughly 20 more yards. And I have that sight tape over here. Now you do have to take these metal brackets off to put the sight tape on, there's not enough room. You can order uh, metal sight tapes from Option once you figure out what you need. Um, but as you can imagine, if you're hunting, when I go out in the field, I've got my pin guard closed my, or whatever, so I've got 20 through 60. When I pull up and I, you know, if I see an animal and the animal's at 33 or whatever, I've got my pins to do that. Let's say I'm in the cliffs, it's a very technical shot and it's at 67 yards. I fold this pin guard open. My pin is perfectly centered so I don't creep out of the housing at all or creep out of the peep. It's better alignment. I dial the 67, I use this one pin for that one shot. And a single pin is always more accurate when you can do one yard increments. But let's say I miss that, I, I punch the clown, I shank the shot, I close this back up, off I go hunting, I've got rapid shots from 20 through 60. I can open this up again. Let's say I take a shot, whether this is open or closed, I get an arrow in an animal and I wanna put a secondary in. Now, if I need to reach out and touch something, I've got this dial or this sight tape. If I got to touch it even farther, I've got this sight tape. And then this also has infinite adjustment, basically. And you've got, uh, I personally like that third axis adjustment on my bubble, but it has a lot of different options with it. Um, again, I really like the option six sight but I can only get 85, 86, whatever yards out of it, and the pin did move in the housing, not as accurate. Um, this is kind of expensive. I ordered three of these things, I did pay for them. Um, I didn't get the, uh, the, the plastic hard case, I just had them wrap them in bubble, bubble wrap. But I, I, I just think this site would last forever, time will tell, and I don't know that you can find anything better. It's a little bit heavy, but not horrible for what you get out of it, well worth the money. And yeah, I'm super excited. Uh, Dan's a very smart man, pretty crazy design.